Okay, so if you want to get in and out your window regulator in this 09 Sierra, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stick it up in this corner right in here. There'll be a little ledge right behind your window. You want to stick it up past that ledge, try not to scratch the window. Get up in that ledge and then, or up past that ledge. When you do that, it'll be able to go into the side and then you can get it in and just put it straight up and down. Get in your studs and then put on your nuts. Um, one thing though is all I had in stock was a doorman. I am not a big fan of doorman, but unfortunately there's not much I can do. I live in a small town, so anyways, there you go. Okay, and just like that, $70 later and an hour's worth of time, mainly for diagnosing it and making sure that it was uh, not broken, that didn't break the window. For some reason it came with this extra cord. I don't know why. I'm going to show you the other one here in a second. But, oh, one other thing you need to hurry and um, do with that tip is make sure it's on this side of the glass and not the other. I accidentally had it on the other side. So make sure it's on this side of the glass when you, when you, uh, get it up and make sure to tape up your window. I also have one of these inflatable air wedges here that I ended up sticking down in with that to pump it up. So just make sure to go on ahead and, um, tape it up, try to wedge something in there, maybe like a block of wood or a piece of plastic. Be careful though. Don't put too much pressure on your window and break it, but it works now. Um, I'll show you with it reassembled. I'm just going to get the door panel put back on. This is what the old one looked like. As you see here, it's uh, it's all busted up. The cord, the cable gave out on it. I think what actually happened was down inside there where that little hole is. That's where that spring goes, just like on this one. And it goes right in the other side right there. There's two plastic pieces that hold it on, and when I opened this up, actually a whole bunch of this plastic fell out on the ground, so I think it gave up the ghost. I think it just died, so I'm going to scrap the motor off of it just because I might need it. I don't know if the motor's still good or not. I tried to roll it back up when it was actually falling down, and as you can see, I actually bound the cable up in it. So I'm still going to take off this motor, though, and keep it. Uh, it might save me one day. It's a Bosch. This is a no-name Chinese brand, I think. Yeah. So, it might save me one day by keeping it, so. But I'm just gonna, like I said, put a zip tie here. That's the other thing is, if you look at this one, you can see here, the connector's right there. That's an OEM style. I think that's actually OEM where it's a Bosch. GM uses Bosch. Um, this one doesn't have that. Like I said, it has this extra cable, so. It's whatever. I'm gonna zip tie it up and put all the trim pieces back on and call it a day. Anyways, thanks guys. Just thought I'd give you a quick tip. Okay, now I got it all back together. Look at that. I also put some silicone grease in these grooves. Just some of this stuff. Some silicone grease. Silicone paste, whatever you want to call it. I put some of that in, so hold on. So yeah, so I put some of that in. It goes back up now too. Hopefully it stays up. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you need any help or have any questions or comments, just comment down below and I'll help you out.